before I get started, you can find the full list of materials I have used for this painting down in the description box. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. The first thing that is different is that I didn't upload it on a Tuesday, but if I'm lucky, I will be ready to upload this video on this Thursday, two days too late actually. And the reason why I didn't upload this video on time is because I hated the voiceover I did for this video. I was trying to make it some sort of step-by-step -step tutorial thing and then I realized, girl, you have no idea what you're doing here. I'm not an expert and I'm just experimenting and trying to make it work. So who am I to tell you what to do when it comes to oil painting, right? I mean, I think that I did a good job in the end, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I struggled a lot to get there. And here's what I struggled with the most. Since I'm fairly new to oil painting, I think I have a default mindset when it comes to creating which is coming from my background as a photorealistic portrait artist and I really don't want to offend anybody if your thing is photorealism please go for it have fun with it enjoy it but to me to be honest if I have to create something photorealistic it's such a boring thing to do and I don't think that it is very interesting to look at but that's just me that's my own opinion so here's the thing when I look at paintings I always love those portrait paintings that have a contemporary feel to it which is kind of tricky to do when you come from a photorealistic background I think well at least to me it is and so I'm struggling here with learning a new medium and also try to get out of my default mindset, my comfort zone of painting or drawing something and photorealism. <laughs> I mean like I always have to be so extra, not only just learn a new medium, no, you have to go out of your comfort zone as well. So this is basically a video where you can watch me trying to fight the urge to make everything look too clean, too smooth and kill every interesting part of this painting. I mean, I still have to find my place in this contemporary style. I love to see brush strokes, I like to see patterns of or patches of colors but I also don't like it when a painting is too noisy if you know what I mean basically like it looks right now it's very noisy and I need to calm it down a bit so I am looking for a balance between all these little aspects of painting at this moment which means I'm just being extra again. I want to have a contemporary feel for my paintings, but also make it look smooth. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I am just reminding myself constantly that every mistake I make could lead me to a better path and or even to a happy accident that might look good in the end so yeah that's what i'm hoping for and i really do have to remind myself on, on just that because otherwise i would just <laughs> stop working on getting better at painting and get frustrated and just call it a day go back to drawing because that's what i'm confident in but luckily i have such a strong desire to really get good at oil painting and uh, create art that is actually something I like. On the plus side, this is making me work in new ways and problem solve, which I haven't done in such a long time and I really do enjoy it. It feels really good. 
I mean, there's probably two sides of this part, like the anticipation, like I, I've got to be better, and the same time it's frustrating, like I've got to be better, like, you know, it's 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 a process that I sometimes hate and sometimes I love it, so I just keep going. I love painting so much. I could see myself doing this for the rest of my life and this is what I want to do. I want to make this my thing. You know, I believe that I was put on this planet to create art. I had so many different jobs in my life. I worked in a factory, I was an optician, I waited tables, I was a stewardess and none of these jobs actually made me happy. The only constant thing I keep coming back is to create art. Let it be drawings, let it be paintings. That's the only thing I really do enjoy. And that leads me to the other struggle I had with this video. Well, to be honest, not just with this video, with all of my videos I have done so far. Because I really want to find out how can I make this YouTube art channel work, you know? I have so many questions running through my head all the time, like how can I increase my attention rate? How can I increase my watch time? How do I get a thousand subscribers to get my monetization on this channel? Because let's be realistic, I've gotta pay my bills. By the way, a huge thank you to all my subscribers. I am tremendously grateful for you following me along on my journey, so thank you so much. And also, do I want to make educational videos or do I want to make entertaining videos? And it's so hard to find the answer to that because I don't really see myself in the how-to or the educational category because that's just not who I am, you know? Of course, I will throw in some advice here now and then and tell you about the things that I've learned, but I'm not really the step-by-step -step tutorial kind of person. This on top of the issue that I have no experience when it comes to oil painting, so I can't really give advice or some magic hacks or tricks to be better at oil painting. And when it comes to the entertainment category, how far do I want to dive into that? Because, yeah, well, I like them, but do I have to paint my vacuum cleaner to make it entertaining. I don't know. <laughs> Little side note, I just uh, searched for painting my vacuum cleaner on YouTube and there are actually people doing that. I am sorry, no offense, you probably did a good job. Anyway, well, that's just not me. So much rambling. Whoever made it this far in this video, thank you so much for listening. I feel for you. I'm very sorry. But I have to put it out to the universe and maybe the universe will send me some answers to my questions. So please make it happen. Or maybe you are yourself a small art YouTuber who's struggling with the same questions or maybe different ones. So let me know about it. Please get in touch with me. I want to hear about it and have somebody to talk about it. So you guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to me ranting. I really do appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section down below how you think it turned out. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out overall. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a new video every Tuesday. See you in the next time. Bye.